guys welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash i have the new blend bunny lore palette lure palette lure lore lure palette to try out for you guys today this is a 24 pan gorgeous eyeshadow palette it retails for 46 dollars look at these beautiful shades so we have three rows of mattes which is in typical blend bunny fashion and then we have that top row of what look like are gonna be some amazing shimmer shadows i'm gonna be creating three looks for you guys today and if you stay tuned towards the end of the video, I'm going to share with you guys how you can win one of your very own Allure palettes plus more. Today's giveaway is in honor of you all helping me reach 20k subscribers here on YouTube. Oh my goodness, what a fun journey it has been. Thank you guys so much for always sending me your love and support. This giveaway is just so special and it's not going to just include this palette. There's going to be some other fun goodies included. I will share the details with you towards the end of the video, but you can always check the description box for full details on how to enter today's giveaway. If it is your first time here on my channel, I think you picked a fantastic video to watch. I want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph. This is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. You're always going to see new makeup reviews here on my channel. That is the primary content. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, which is what you're getting today. I do makeup ranking videos. We talk about makeup here. We have a great time while talking about the makeup. If that sounds like somewhere you want to be and something you want to see on pretty much a daily basis, I upload a lot, a lot, a lot. Do me a favor, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of indie makeup, specifically Specifically, Blend Bunny. I'd appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up before you go. I will have everything that I'm wearing in today's video talking about linked and listed in the description box. Some of those things might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's get this giveaway three look indie makeup blend bunny lure palette video started. If you guys want to see the three looks I'm about to create, keep on watching. Now I've already primed my eyelids with surprise, not the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Today I'm using the one from Natasha Denona. So let's dive into this beautiful palette. What do we want to start with? So the first thing that I want to say about Blend Bunny, and it's something that I really love about the brand, is the way they set up their eyeshadow palettes. They make it very user friendly. So you can start with the row of light shades in the crease, kind of up um, you know towards the brow bone use it as a transition shade this row right here these are going to be more of your medium tone shades so that you can use directly in the crease and then of course you have the bottom row which is what you'll use to deepen up the outer corner maybe uh, smoke out the lower lash line and of course the very top row is what you're going to place on the lid these are your shimmer shadows you can also put them in the inner corner you know what at the end of the day you can do whatever you want and put these shadows wherever you want on your eye there really are no rules but I'm just letting you know how I would approach the palette and what I'm gonna start with first I think I have to do something green like you guys know I have a thing for green look at my teal shirt that I'm wearing I think I'm gonna start with the shade right here this one is called lost at sea and I'm taking lost at sea on a game beauty e01 this is one of my favorite brushes for applying like transition shadows with. It just does such a good job of like packing them on and getting that ultimate payoff. Now, if my eyelids look a little tired, a little rough, that's because my eyes have been itchy the last couple days. It's been so windy today and we're getting a cold front. So that's probably why my eyes have been itchy and they're kind of like peeling a little bit off to the side because in addition to being itchy, they've also gotten a little bit dry. So not a good combo, which is why I'm not doing more looks. I initially intended to do four looks with this palette, but my eyes are just not having it. I'm actually taking a break from filming tomorrow uh, just to let my eyes rest. I'm not even gonna put any makeup on tomorrow, so. 
Okay, I like Lost at Sea. I think the shadow definitely built up really well. You can see what I mean about this Game Beauty brush. This is just such a good brush to use for anything that you're going to do in the transition area. Now, the next shade I'm going to go in with, um, I want to do, I think I want to use like these two shades, maybe these three shades, I should say, um, in the crease or somewhere on the lid. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna do a combination of these two actually. Yeah, I think that's is that what I'm gonna do. Let me try, I'm gonna try this shade first. This one is called C Nymph. Now I'm gonna take C Nymph on a refer 14. And another thing that I wanted to point out about this palette, and I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier, but you can take these column by column and just do your look based off of those four shadows there. So you can easily see if I was to create a look using all four of these shadows, it'd be a very cohesive, just um, an all monochromatic type of look, um, but definitely mix and match the shades like you're gonna see me do in today's video. But that's what I mean about Blend Bunny being a very user-friendly, indie makeup brand especially like with the layout of their palettes they take the guesswork out of it you know they make it really easy to create looks with especially if you're not one that works with a lot of colorful shadow on a daily basis i understand it can be a little bit intimidating but Blend Bunny, that's what I like about this brand. They take all the guesswork out of it and you can just have fun. Me, you guys know I love to mix and match my shadows. I don't stick to any one row or any one column. I like to go all over the place. And for me, that's just the fun of playing with makeup. Okay, now instead, I think I'm gonna go in with the dark purple. This one is called Tentacles. I'm taking that on a refer 13. I'm gonna focus it right out here. I'm also gonna bring it into the crease a bit. Okay, so I think those shades just blended with one another seamlessly, like perfectly, perfectly. All right, now for the lid, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna treat it like an all matte look, but then I'm gonna apply a shimmer. That way you can see what it would look like if you didn't wanna go in with any shimmer. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this lavender shade right here. This one is called Jellyfish. And I'm taking the shade Jellyfish on a Refer 02. Love it, love it so, so much. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is 332 meters. And I'm taking this shade on a BKA504. Now on that same brush, I'm going in with Lost at Sea. Lost at Sea was the very first shade that I used. I applied this in the transition area. And I'm just gonna apply this to the inner corner. And then I'm also gonna run it right below this other shade. Okay guys, so here we have a completed all matte look. Now you could very easily just add some liner, maybe throw on a falsie, and then this would be it. I wanted to show you what could be if you didn't wanna use any shimmer. That way you could see, you know, just how well also the mattes blended with each other. But I also, of course, wanna try out the shimmer shadows. So now we're gonna have to implement one of these beautiful shimmers. And I'm thinking about this one right here. This looks like it has some nice shift to it. This one is called Pearl. Now I'm gonna take this on a damp Morphe M124. I pick up the shadow first and then and I just spray it with some setting spray. I would recommend going in with some glitter primer first. The only reason I'm not is because I'm just gonna remove this look in the next few minutes, but I'm definitely getting fallout from it. So um, in my experience, Blend Bunny shimmers, they always pair really well when you do a glitter primer, or glitter glue first. That is a beautiful, beautiful shadow. Wow. Oof. Okay, guys, so I'm going to 
touch up my mascara because I do have a little bit of mascara on. I'm going to add some liner and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number one. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number one. The mascara I'll be using in today's video is the Rare Beauty Mascara and the black liner I'll be using in today's video is also from Rare Beauty right here. For the lower waterline, I went in with a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This one is in the shade Big Splash. Love the combination of like the lavender pink with the turquoise, the aqua. I mean, just so, so pretty. This is definitely my color story. I love like sea themed makeup. I'm a Pisces, so I love the ocean. I love going to the beach. This palette is definitely up my alley with the theme and the color story. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. Okay, so for look number two, I'm looking at this first column here. We have a two, we have a brown and we have a dark brown down here. These look really interesting. I know I've already used pearl, but I think I want to do these in the crease. And then we'll add in one of these fun shimmers to kind of just play up the look a bit. Then maybe we can do a green for the lower lash line. Let's try that. I'm going to do these three on the lid and the crease. I'm going to start first with this one. This one is called Storm Ahead. Now I have some Blend Bunny um, eyeshadow brushes. So I'm going to take Storm Ahead on the B5 brush. Now on the same B5 brush, I'm going in with the shade right below Storm Ahead. It's called Pirate's Life. And you'll see me start to work this in the crease and also out here on the outer corner. Now on the B4 brush, I'm going to go in with Black Sea. And that is the darkest shade. This is the darkest shade in the entire palette. And it's obviously the darkest shade in that column. Make this a really pretty smoky eye. Give it a neutral base. And then we'll pop it with one of those shimmers. Now for the shimmer shadows, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called Sailor's Delight. Now I am going to apply NYX Glitter Primer since I'm not going to be removing this look. Uh, to do the third look, I'm going to do remove this one. And that way you can see just how much these shimmers benefit from a glitter primer underneath. I'm using my Morphe M124. I did not spray the brush. And these just adhere so well to the glitter primer. Look at that. Perfect. Love that. Look at that. That is so, so pretty. I'm just kind of touching up the dark shade right here. Woo, that's beautiful. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to do a combination of these two greens. And I'm going to start first with this one right here. This one is called Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm taking this shade on the B2 brush. Now on a refer 03, I'm going in with the dark green called Unchartered. Now I'm going to add a little bit of sea foam on that refer 03 right here to the inner corner. We're going to do another shimmer there, a different, different shade. I just want to give it a base. Now I think I'll go in with the green in that uh, column. This one is called Folklore. I'm going to spray the Refer 03. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, guys, I'm going to add finishing touches, and I will be right back to show you this completed look number two. Okay, guys, so here's the completed look number two. What do you guys think? I love it. I love the way it turned out. Um, same everything with the exception of the lower waterline. Another ColourPop cream gel liner. This one's in the shade Teaspoon. I love it. I love that pop of green on the lower lash line. This up here is kind of neutral and then we just pop it with a fun color. All right, I'm going to take some quick pictures and then I'm going to remove this look and I'll be right back and we'll start working on look number three. Okay, so for look number three, I think I want to come over here and work with these three shadows, maybe these for the lower lash line. 
I don't know, these are calling my name and maybe this or maybe one of the greens on the lid for a shimmer. I'm going to start first with this one right here. This one is called Baited. I'm using the Gang Beauty E01. Now on a BKA502, I'm going in with that mid-tone pink. The shade is called Booty. Now on a refer 13, I'm going in with that darkest shade in the column. This one is called X marks the spot. This is a beautiful shade and it's building up so well. That's the thing about Blend Bunny. Everybody loves their mattes. They're very easy to work with. I love their shimmers. I think they have a wonderful shimmer formula, as you guys have seen already. And I can honestly say, I think I like their shimmers more than I like their mattes. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the crease a little bit. I'm going to use my Pacifica concealer. This is the one I have on today. I'm actually wearing it as foundation. This is their new Dreamlit Glow Concealer. You guys will see my uh, Pacifica review video probably go up after you watch this video. So stay tuned for that. Now, on a refer 28, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Something different. We're going to do Catch Me right here on top of the concealer let's see let's see what's gonna happen here you know what i think i'm gonna try using some of the mid-tone blue in this column this one right here this one is called explore same brush we're just playing around to see what kind of combinations we can come up with don't know that I'm completely sold on it if I was to leave it like an all matte look, but that was never the intention. Now we're going to go in with one of these beautiful shimmers, and I think I'll do a combination of these two right here. So I'm going to start first with um, Bilumin Bioluminescent. Bioluminescent. This was actually one of my favorite shade names when Blend Bunny asked on their Instagram, what is the uh, shade name that stands out to you the most? Bioluminescent was the one I chose. I'm using my damp Morphe M124. No glitter glue because again, I am going to go rinse off all this face of makeup, take my shower and actually just Get ready for bed. Do a little bit of relaxing before before I go to bed, watch some TV, catch up on some YouTube videos. I like that. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with In A Bottle. Same brush. I did spray it again. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm going to do this shade right here. This one is called The Deep. And I'm taking that on the Blend Bunny B2. I'm going to focus it just right out here, like this outer half. Then I'm going to do a different color um, for the inner half. I think I'll just go in with Catch Me. Same brush. I'm going to run Catch Me right below this darker shade. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Folklore for the inner corner. I'm using a damp Refer 03. I've officially used all of the shimmer shadows in this palette. And I love each and every one of them. They're so beautiful, so sparkly. I'm going to go ahead and add the finishing touches and I will be right back to show you this completed look number three. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number three. Same mascara, the lower waterline. Do you even need to ask? My favorite blue eyeliner, the one from Give by Gwen Stefani in the shade Bathwater. But for the top lash line, I went in with this Game Beauty liquid liner in the shade. I don't know what shade this is. These don't have shade names on them. It's like the dark navy blue liner and it almost looks black but it's definitely navy blue 
which by the way, Game Beauty has a new collection coming out really, really soon. And they just sent it to me. So definitely stay tuned to my channel. If you're interested in Game Beauty, they are a gaming theme indie makeup brand. And this new collection is beyond gorgeous you're definitely gonna want to stay tuned because i'll be reviewing all of it very soon let me go ahead wrap up today's video i'm going to share with you my thoughts on the lure palette from blend bunny in case you don't know them already and i'm going to give you some more details on how you can enter today's giveaway so after creating three looks with the new Allure palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, it's a winner. It's a hit from the outward mermaid packaging to these gorgeous blue, green, pink, red, purple shades that are in this palette. This is definitely my color story. I live for a color story like this. I'm happy to see the brown, like the mid-tone brown and the dark brown in this palette. I think that was a beautiful touch. We have like a neutral column going on over here and then we have uh, five other columns full of beautiful color again the layout of blend bunny palettes makes it very user friendly you have your row of shimmers at the top and then you have your three rows of matte shades that go from light medium deep and again you can take this column by column and just use the shades the four shades that are in that one column or you can mix and match all of the shades the way I did in these three looks just let your brush run wild let your imagination run wild and watch what can be created I think for me this is a very fun palette to work with just because these are shades I love to work with. I love blues and greens and then we have like some pink and that reddish maroon shade over here. I just, I think it's just a well thought out palette. And if these are the shades that you gravitate towards, if this is a color story that appeals to you, trust me, you're not going to regret having this in your stash. I think it's a fair price point at 46 bucks. You're getting 24 shadows. Um, six of them are going to be beautiful, shifty shimmer shadows. Congratulations, Blend Bunny. You got another winner on your hands with the Lore palette. Now, let me talk to you guys about how you're going to enter my 20K subscriber giveaway. Okay, guys, so this giveaway is officially open and it closes on Wednesday, February the 1st at 6 p.m. CST. This is an international giveaway that is avoid where prohibited, and the winner assumes all taxes, duties, and fees associated with final delivery. What are you going to win besides the Lure palette? Well, I picked up, in addition to the Lure palette, I also picked up one of the Blend Bunny Eye Brush Blending sets. So you guys will get, I think it's this set right here. And I want to say it's five or six different brushes. I could be missing a brush here and it's over there. I just didn't grab it. But I also have a Juvia's Place Candy Shop palette that I'm including in today's giveaway. I have some stuff from e.l.f. in today's giveaway. And I just have like a mixture of different products that I've been kind of saving up. If you watch my recent Ulta haul video, there's an LA Girl palette that's going to be included included in today's giveaway and it's just going to be a box full of makeup goodies. So how do you enter today's giveaway? It's all really simple. I've been utilizing a Google form for all of my giveaways. It's been working out really well. So there'll be a link to that Google form in the instructions in the description box in today's video. Um, I'm just asking you for some basic contact information like your name, your mailing address, that way I can know where to send the package to, um, your email address, and of course if you have an Instagram, I'm going to ask you for your Instagram name. That way when I notify the winner, I'm going to be able to email you and if you have an Instagram, I'll DM you as well. That way you have those two methods of communication there. That way you know, yes, it is coming from me, Steph. It is not a scammer. I am not going to be responding to any anybody's comment in today's video all I'm gonna do is give it a heart please if you see a, a comment that looks like it's from me trust me it's not I'm not responding to anybody's comments it is most likely a scam especially if they're asking you to contact like if it's somebody pretending to be me and asking you to contact me like through whatsapp or dm or whatever it is I don't even use whatsapp and I will never ask you to contact me it's always going to be the other way around please do not fall victim to any scammers they love to target unfortunately these giveaway videos which is why I have to do 
things a little bit different when it comes to these types of videos. So definitely, if you choose to enter today's giveaway, which I hope a lot of you do, um, be sure to check your email and or your Instagram if you left your Instagram name around the 6, 6.15 p.m. CST mark on Wednesday, February the 1st. That way you won't miss out in case I email you and let you know you're the winner. Winner does have 24 hours to respond. And unfortunately, if they don't, it's happened in the past, I have to go ahead and choose another winner. I will let you guys know in the community section and over on my Instagram stories that, hey, I've chosen a winner. I've contacted the winner. That way you guys can, you know, have that heads up and be sure to check your inboxes to see if, um, if I emailed you and let you know that you're the winner. I'll ask you a couple questions here and there. That way you can make sure, you know, it's me and not somebody trying to scam you. Um, but it should be very clear that it's coming from me if you do win. So thank you again so much for helping me get to 20K, over 20K now here on YouTube. That was my goal for the end of 2022. Came up a little bit short. Two weeks into 2023, we hit that 20K mark. I'm just so happy. I'm happy that I'm able to begin the year with this goal that I had set for myself. And now the sky is the limit. Thank you guys so much. All of your love and support, it means the world to me. And this is just, this is the least I can do to show my appreciation to all of you and just everything that you've done to help grow this community and just allow me to be here and continue to do what I love, which is trying new makeup. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Let me know which look was your favorite. Are you team one, two, three, none, all? Sound off in the comments down below. Don't forget to enter. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.